and she had what scared me the most is she had a snake a black snake around her neck and then the way she was moving she wasn't walking it's like she was floating on the ground i don't know how like kind of like a snake like she was floating on the ground and i couldn't see her feet hello everybody ladim bungo here welcome to my channel if this is your first time please please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell button so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming stories because i have a lot okay so the story i'm about to do today is inspired by the very last story that i have made about the zangbeto uh you guys have no idea but i received a few messages private messages that my Zengbeto story scared the crap out of a lot of people and uh, some people say that they cannot sleep at night because of that story I'm, I'm so sorry you know I cannot be the only one not sleeping at night <laughs> I'm just kidding however um, I stayed in this beautiful country my, my family and I we stayed in this beautiful country over 20 years ago maybe 20 23 20 almost 24 years ago we stayed in Benin and we stayed in this village called Pomase and the uh, majority of the people practice voodoo in Pomase majority of the people so we saw a lot of stuff a lot of weird weird stuff weird things that until today I cannot explain okay and um and also if you were the curious kind in Pomase, oh my gosh, you, you would have seen a lot of things and who knows, maybe you were going to end up disappearing or something, okay? I was a little bit curious, but my mom always stopped me from being super curious, okay? She was like, you are going to get in trouble, okay? Stop being too curious. So today I wanted to share with you again one of the the things that happened to me or one of the things I saw while I was in Pomase. So one day, um, so we stayed in the village, right? We stayed in the village, beautiful village. So sometimes we, we would go out of uh, power or uh, out of water. Okay. The, somehow, you know, some parts of Africa has um, water issues. We didn't, but sometimes, very, very few times, we would have um, water issues where, you know, water wasn't coming out of the faucets anymore. And we had to go deeper in the village to go fetch water, to go look for water. And the villagers, they were kind enough to let us uh, get the water. And there was a lot of water, you know, coming underground, you know, those type of um, uh, when they have a hole that goes deep, very deep underground and then you have a bucket you tie it to a rope and you know you basically lower the bucket and you pull and once you pull the bucket out you have water so the villagers would let us use uh go get water when we ran out of water so this was one of those days we ran out of water so and uh, being the oldest in the family i had to be the one to go look for water so it was a couple of miles away uh, from home, uh, you know, from where we stayed um, in, um, in the community we stayed in Pomase. So, of course, I wasn't alone. It was a lot of us going to look for water. So the line will be unbelievably huge. There's going to be a long line, you know, waiting for your turn to go get water. So... I went with uh, a couple of my friends and uh, the line that day was super long. I was there, you know, I was there standing in line. The line was super long and I was getting super bored. And uh, I kept on looking around and I kept on looking at a distance like straight far away. I kept on seeing this little house made of leaves uh kind of yeah leaves it was a kind of just like raffia leaves kind of things so i kept on seeing it and of course you know 
the curious laddie i had to go i just wanted to go see it a little bit closer so i can see what it was and uh who was staying in the house so i told my friends i'm like uh hey can you guys watch uh you know because you didn't want to lose your space your space in line uh because someone else is going to replace you so i'm like you know i'm super bored i just want to go over there you guys can see me you guys going to be able to see me i just want to go take a little walk i want to take a few steps because i'm super bored you know who want to come with me uh and you know maybe one or two people can stay in the line so we don't lose our uh, our place so my friends declined like oh come on laddie we don't want to go why why would you want to go there i'm like i'm bored i want to go so and i went so i went to see the house made of leaves whatever so as i was going you know i got closer to the house you know it's a little bit far from uh from where the water was uh, but you can still kind of see me from the distance you know you can see me. my friends could see me from the distance so and uh i'm getting closer to the house i'm trying to look at the house it looked empty it looked like no one was there and it was made of leaves very weird but very interesting at the same time so now that i was in front of the house in, in front of that little house on the right on my right side on the right side i i heard like uh something or somebody but something was coming out of the out of the bush because it was bushy it was a lot of bush a lot of trees a lot of dead leaves a lot of you name it it, it, it wasn't the city you know what i mean it wasn't the city this was a village so a lot of trees a lot of just wilderness so i heard like some shuffling or something make like leaves like someone or something was stepping on leaves on my right side so i'm turning to the right to kind of see what it was and at the same time i was a little bit afraid too i'm like oh i hope this is this is not a snake and um and then what came in front of me until today i am scared super scared so i saw a lady yes she looked like a lady in fact in fact she had she had breasts so there was a lady who appeared to be naked which was not uncommon in Pomase. we saw a lot of naked people that's how those people were the village people they were naked i mean we saw a lot of different boobs <laughs> young old you name it so me seeing a lady naked wasn't uncommon however is the way the lady was that's what freaked me out this lady basically had hair covered with leaves and it wasn't pretty leaves no it wasn't green leaves or something attractive no they looked like dead brown leaves covered in her so her hair the hair you don't see the hair all you see are leaves dead leaves and she didn't have anything on so you could see her breast and they were like soggy very soggy and she had what scared me the most is she had a snake a black snake around her neck and then the way she was moving she wasn't walking it's like she was floating on the ground i don't know how like kind of like a snake like she was floating on the ground and i couldn't see her feet because they were covered so from pretty much from here from her waist down she had dead leaves like brown ugly looking leaves leaves covering her entire covering everything except for the top like you could see everything from the top and she had on a black snake around her neck and then she gave me this look uh i'm going to put a picture for you guys so that you can kind of imagine the look she gave me uh kind of like it was scary super super freaky it's like she was mocking me or i don't even know how to explain it i wish oh my gosh i wish that i had a camera 
in those days when I was in that village. I wish I had a camera so I can ca capture some of the weird things that I have seen. I don't know if I would have had the courage to actually snap a picture because it was kind of a moment where everything is happening fast. At the same time, it's also happening slow. In a way, it's like I was frozen in fear. At the same time, it happened quick, but I'm just trying to explain to you the moment. So, and then she goes like this, with a, the look, like a mocking look. Guys, when she did that, that was my time to run. That was my clue to leave and never look back. And I screamed like I have never screamed before. I screamed super loud and I ran away from whoever that lady was. I ran away from her screaming like, <laughs> I don't know how I can explain to you the scream, but everyone around the village heard me. I screamed so fast. I mean, I screamed and I ran so fast back into the water, the water place where we had a line and the villagers were laughing at me. Like this was a big joke, but it wasn't a joke. Okay. This was very freaky. And I'm like, why are they laughing, laughing at me? And they were laughing like, why are you screaming? So I'm explaining to them what I saw. And they were laughing like, oh, it's probably just a crazy lady, probably just someone who's not up there, you know, it's nothing, it's not a big deal. And they asked me, what were you doing over there anyways? Why did you go away from where everyone is? Why, why would you go alone? I'm like, I just wanted to take a few steps. I didn't know I was going to see a lady with a snake around her neck. And when I say that, they're like, they were like a snake around her neck. And they were, they were like, are you sure you saw it right? I mean, I'm like, yes, I, I saw it clearly. She had on a black snake around her neck and she was naked except from, from the waist down. And that's not even uncommon. So that's not even a big deal. However, when I, when I told them that, yeah, the lady had on a snake, they were like, ah, you probably just imagined, uh, you probably didn't see it right. I'm like, no, I saw it. I saw it. And, uh, and yeah, I wish I had a picture. I wish, but how? I don't have it. I don't have any pictures. All I can tell you is uh, my story or my stories of, I have a lot of little things that I saw in Benin, in Pomasse. Pomasse was the place to see a lot of weird things. You want to see weird? Yeah, stay there for, for one year. You are going to see weird, weird, and explainable things. And, uh, you know, I don't have a picture, but I'm going to do my best trying to use my skills that I don't really have anymore because I don't practice. I'm going to try and draw. I'm going to draw kind of what I saw. I'm going to try, I don't know how it's going to come out, but I want you to kind of visualize what I saw and uh, the way those leaves looked super scary and dead, dead brownish looking leaves like, oh gosh, super scary. But yes, yes. So I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, this story, you know, um, and let me know if you, if you want to hear more of my Pomase experiences, things that I saw in the village. Let me know in the comments and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Okay, subscribe so that you don't miss out on any other videos and uh, so that I can be motivated to make more videos as well. Okay, I don't just share my experience, but I also share uh, strange stories, sad stories, things that had has happened to people and believable things uh i share them all on my channel so thanks for watching be blessed and i will see you next time